Hi there, welcome to another tips or tricks video. Today we have uh, a little guest, we have our puppy Frank. Um, he really wants to join in, I couldn't do the video without him, so he's just going to have to stay and join us for this video. And we're going to have a look at the foundations of Warrior One. The foundation of Warrior One, it is legs. And every time we work on a pose, we want to work on the pose ground up. So today with Warrior One, we're going to have a look at what the legs are doing. And I'm going to share some of my tips with you to help you to feel stronger in your, in your Warrior One. So I'm going to start on, a, on the floor. We're not going to worry too much about what the arms are doing, what the upper body are doing, just for now. And we're going to step forward with the left leg or right leg, whatever you, you prefer, whatever you like. Whatever goes naturally as well for you. And then we're going to just lift the back knee off the floor, tuck the foot in the back of the mat and lift the back knee. So now we're just feeling that we really need to get into our legs, you know, there has to be some engagement to hold the weight of the body. And what happens sometimes is if there is not so much of awareness what to do and the power of our body, we tend to just sink with the hips and be really heavy in the arms and in the body. So what I want you to do is bring awareness into the core, into our powerhouse, into our center. And we just need to hug in and tuck the tailbone, squeezing the belly in. And immediately you will start to feel a lot lighter because all this powerhouse that we have here in the center of our body suddenly is active, is engaged. It's not a dead body pulling you to the floor. So from here, hug in squeeze the belly in, no need to go too crazy on it, just a tiny bit so you can feel. From here now we're going to lower the back heel down to the floor. I'm just going to move Frank's toy out of the way. Lower the back heel down and the back foot you want to have it kind of a 45 degree angle which is pointing out towards the corners of the of the room. It's okay Frank, play with your toy. Here, here, play with the toy. So the back foot is on a 45 degree angle to allow you to be grounded. And we're just playing here with the hips, now feeling into the hips. You might start feeling already the, the front leg strong here. And keep your powerhouse, your center house engaged. Now the back leg, still working on the back leg, we're going to internally rotate the thigh so there is we don't really move the leg like this because that will be internally rotating the whole leg what we want to do is this part of the leg we want to internally rotate and you can see that my hips at the same time are also closing in becoming more parallel to the front of the mat now what happens sometimes is when we internally rotate into the thigh the foot comes off the floor and we want to make sure that the ankle is properly in line and like this the ankle starts to be in an awkward position it feels awkward in the foot so we're going to internally rotate the thigh and at the same time we're going to press the outside edge of the foot the little pinky toe the pinky toe and the toes onto the foot we'll do that again let's just have change legs whilst Frank enjoys himself in the mat. <laughs> okay, so now we have our right leg forward. We're engaging into our core, into our powerhouse, hugging in. And then we lower the back heel down onto the floor. We internally rotate the left, uh, left thigh. At the same time, we press through the outside edge of the back foot. So let's just stay with that movement for a bit. Internally rotate the back tie, press through the outside edge of the back foot. Okay, release, let's switch. Already, this tiny movement can make you feel quite different in your pose and probably there's already some shaking or some burning sensation 
because sometimes this small movement can be can have a great impact in the way you feel in your practice and the um, you know reaching to certain mo to certain muscles that we never even thought we had okay so let's go to the other side tuck the back foot lift the, he the knee now engage into your powerhouse lower the back heel down internally rotate the back thigh press through the outside edge of the back foot good all right so now we're here we're going to come into the front thigh first and you want to have the knee in line with the ankle but in the beginning if it is too much because there is still a bit of strength to build there and a bit of balance then that's okay you know just stay with the knee a little bit backward but keep the integrity of your back leg and then you start to come up gently keeping that internally rotation of your uh, thigh at the same time pressing through the outside edge of the foot and what this helps us is with the squaring of the hips that we want to have in warrior one and slowly release we're going to do the other side now okay lift the back heel back knee hugging into the powerhouse exhale lower the back heel inhale internally rotation of the thigh exhale press through the outside edge breathe in breathe out inhale bring the hands into the front leg exhale inhale rise the chest a little bit exhale keep the pressing through the outside edge of the foot internally rotating into the thigh breathe in exhale slowly release and that's all for today so frank is back here to say bye 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 stay tuned for more tips and tricks namaste <laughs>